center stage, fluffing out his branches and singing to himself. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Yes, but I have a very important job. I stand here proudly reminding everyone of the reason for the season. There is glee on everyone's face as they walk by seeing my colorful lights and decor. Well, look at that proud tree. He thinks he is so beautiful without me in the decor. He would be a plain old tree. Do you know I am the most important part of Christmas? Even the wise men looked at me and followed me to Bethlehem to meet Jesus. Now you know why they were called wise men. Perish the thought. My scotch brand invisible tape came directly from the mall. My specialty paper is sold only at the Christmas store. And just in case you are wondering, my bow was handmade with the finest ribbon available to man. Only the biggest, the brightest, and the best. That's my motto, you know. Hello, everyone. Did you hear the latest? Tree was singing to himself again. Star, as usual, thinks he is the star of the show. Present is flattering herself again, and it surely doesn't feel like Christmas if I'm not doing my dingling. Dingling, dingling, ding. Ho, ho, ho. Belle, is that you gossiping again about your friends? You keep on dinging and dinging so others know, right? I know who is naughty and who is nice. Even children know, unless Mr. Claus makes it all the way from the North Pole, it isn't Christmas yet. You are around 365 days, but I make it here only once a year, and so I bring on the cheer. Oh man, there's a lot of cheer going on here. Everyone thinks they're the reason for the season. Yes. Everyone has forgotten that this was season where God gave the solution to man's biggest problem. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Well, all the wonderful things we talk and think about at Christmas were claiming that they were important and condemning the others. But God declared to us that through a baby born on Christmas Day, man's condemnation was removed. Yes, Romans 8 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation for them who are in Christ Jesus. Exactly. This baby born in Bethlehem brought man salvation. He also removed the condemnation that was upon men. Those who trust in him also have the promise of eternal life with him in heaven. What else could be the greatest reason for a celebration? It's not about the major, where the baby lay. It's not about the star, the tree, the presents, the angels, or anything that we bring out to celebrate. It's about man's sin and how the baby in the manger was to be lifted on a cross so that man who was sunk in sin and destined for destruction was lifted up to be seated in the heavenly place. Yes, friends, Jesus is the reason for the season.